crazy thing is, uh, set them just like that, and my clearance or my ride height is pretty much dead on. Now I'm not sitting level right now. And when I let it down in the garage, it was sitting level, but of course you got to get it rolling to get the uh, uh, get them to settle correctly. <clears throat> Uh, mentioned settling because the spring is going to settle it's going to get a little bit lower but that's super easy to adjust i don't even have to remove the uh the damn coil over to do it i did a bunch of research into figuring out which ones were the right length and i uh, like the correct setup so i've got the mercedes perch on top of that just compress the uh, spring, put the Mercedes perch on the top, or, uh, yeah, the top perch, got it all back together, fits in like a glove. You can see the uh, adjustment stem up there. So these are adjustable height, adjustable shock dampening, and adjustable spring preload tension. I don't claim to be a suspension expert by any means, but uh, this is gonna work for now. This is pretty sweet. So if the spring settles and I need more height, all I gotta do is loosen up the uh, the bottom bolt, knock the lock ring loose, and spin that whole orange uh, housing, I guess you call it the housing cylinder, uh, spin that counterclockwise, whatever, to loosen it, pull it apart, and that'll actually bring my ride height back up. Uh, how does it ride? Uh, it's kind of hard to tell because I've got my sway bar installed and with that there's going to be some transfer because I've still got the the factory ML uh, strut in there on this side let's fog up the camera <laughs> got the sorry <laughs> right in the exhaust huh so I still got the factory one in this side with the one inch uh, spacer those are my very original spacers. So instead of just having the goddamn rocks, man. Instead of having just the factory spacer, we're able to have an actual coil lever. Is it gonna last? I got no clue. This was the cheapest set I could find on eBay. Um, there was no reason to spend good money on good quality stuff at this point in R&D. So, yeah, these are the cheapest damn ones. I got a full set of four for like 250 bucks. I don't need the, the rear ones. They're kind of worthless to me. So, <clears throat> just to find these and then maybe find another company uh, that can assemble something like this for me. Uh, that's going to be the, the trick of it. So, yeah, something like that. That looks pretty goddamn cool. I like it. Oh, man. I've been dying to see if this would work for a long time. And it's working pretty damn good. Uh, how does it ride? I think I was getting to that. It rides pretty much the same. Um, I can't really tell the difference um, until I take this thread out and put the other one on this side and that will let me know exactly how it rides because with this sway bar in it's transferring back and forth it's not really a good feel just to have one in there but for all intents and purposes yeah it, it feels fine it's not like too squishy um if it does get too squishy i can uh, i've got the the this <laughs> shit i've got the shock dampening set right in the middle so I think it's a 25 position so I've got it right around 12 um, if I, I could screw that thing in and tighten it up all the way um, kind of like the fronts those are adjustable too <coughs> like I said all this shit's on a budget the, the front's the ranchos and they've got an adjustment He's right there And I like my lights. Pretty sweet. Well, that's about it. That's uh, 
six and a half minutes of your life that I just took away. Well, this is after the first quick drive after installing the new coilovers. <clears throat> so what do we got here for ride heights? Try and get this on a cleat that's even. Got about five and a half. Five and a half inch there. And on this side, get on that same cleat. And about five and a quarter. So quarter inch difference, quarter inch higher on the new side is pretty much perfection because that coil is going to settle and it's going to drop down a little bit. So being just a quarter inch high on one side, pff, that's fine. It's perfect. It's probably going to settle at least a quarter, maybe even half. And it's okay because we can adjust it back up. I uh, had to do some modifications while we're out this hole a little bit to um, effectively use good grade 8 hardware, half inch bolts. Uh, remove the top plate and install the factory Mercedes one so no more no more blocks for me I'm done with that now will these factory springs carry more weight probably I mean that's just physics the uh, springs themselves are about a sixteenth of an inch thicker in diameter and you've got all of this to spring on versus just that short short bit but you know for my purposes off-roading and shit um the more flexible the rear is the happier i'll be with it uh another different thing you can see with this is the factory one's got a ball joint damn this thing is tight yeah i only put these uh these struts in maybe two years ago when i first did the lift i just said the hell with it and got got some new struts and this is the uh, adapter thing the Bob uh, the ones that I ordered uh, these are the ones that I ordered but they came with a bolt that was way too big so I had to cut it out and weld in a half inch bolt same as that guy just uh, shorter in length but yeah it's taped up because I decided to just paint over it it's whatever no big damn deal but yeah so maybe tomorrow i'll get around to disassembling this strut disassembling this strut putting the top hat on that one ready to go um install didn't really take any longer than uh the normal um doing it by with one person it's no big deal once you've done it a couple times yeah that's it my garage light turned off but that's it. I'm tired of sitting on the couch. Been sitting on the couch for days and it's killing me. Yeah, you can hear it. You can probably imagine why I'm on the couch. <laughs> Not feeling too great, but I can only stay on the couch for so long. That is so sick. God. I am happy with that. Yeah. There's actually more distance between the uh, upper control arm and the spring now with these ones. Can't wait to get the other side in, get the uh, dampening adjusted correctly, and uh, see what we can do for like a, a more permanent solution. So stay tuned for more, and uh, catch you guys later.